Hey you guys. It's Sade and I'm back today with a plant update. I went to a super exciting plant swap yesterday and I got a lot of cool cuttings and pots and baskets. And um, I actually won a raffle for a Albo Monstera. So obviously I'm over the moon about how this plant swap turned out. I don't have any um, uncommon plants in my collection. This is the first one and it was gonna be a plant, one of the first plants that I bought if I hadn't won the raffle. You can imagine how over the moon happy I am to have this plant in my collection. I will be showing it when I get there, but I kind of wanted to show all the cuttings that I got because um, the Monstera Albo is absolutely amazing, but I got a lot of cool plants. The first cutting that we'll talk about is this, this one. I'm going to have to put a lot of the names on screen as I look these up, you know, over the next week or so. Um, because some of these I can't, I couldn't find the name for it or I don't know yet. I tried to find out the name of this plant while I was at the swap. Um, so me and like some of the other people that were there, we looked, I have the app Picture This. Someone else had the app called Nature ID and they identified this plant as a baby rubber rubber plant, but I I have no experience with it. I thought it looked like kind of Hoya-ish, but mm, not really. Um, I think it's super cute. It's just now starting to root there. So I'm gonna let it obviously let the root system get a little bit more robust before I pot it up. Um, I just thought the variegation on this was kind of unique. I've never seen the plant before, so I thought that I would go with it. So the next plant that I'm showing you guys, um, it's not in the best shape, but I believe that this is a Diefenbachia plant. It might be like a camouflage. I don't have, I've never had a Diefenbachia, but I see them all the time. Um, it's really well rooted, which is another reason that I decided that it would be a good pick. Um, I know the leaves don't look to be in the best shape, but I feel like with this root system and the care that it needs, um, it'll be, it'll be okay. It's a well rooted plant that I don't have. So I was like, it's a, it's a good one to get. This next plant is my very first cacti. I believe that it's called a prickly pear cacti. Um, that's what picture this, the app said that it was, and I haven't had luck finding any other name for it. So of course, if you know the names of any of these plants, please let me know in the comment section. Um, that would be super helpful, but I'm just going to go with prickly pear cacti. No experience with cacti. I been watching a few YouTube videos though, and they say, everybody says to just let it root in soil instead of water. So yeah, this is kind of cool. My first cactus, um, super firm. So I think that's a good sign and I think it's adorable. Here we have a mother of thousands. I don't know if it's a succulent. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks kind of like a succulent or is it mother of millions? Mother of thousands, that's what the, the label says over there. You can see that they're already pushing out the thousands of little babies that they do that gives them their name. Okay, this is the mother, this leaf. And then from there, they push out these little bitty babies that are on the edge here. My nails are horrible, sorry. But I'm excited to see how these grow from the mama leaf. So the next few cuttings that I picked up are these tiny aloe vera cuttings. I believe that these are some kind of special aloe vera plants. I see them all the time, but it's obviously not a, a regular aloe vera because I have regular aloe vera. So this one has a little bit more variegation, looks a little bit cooler. I got two pups. So hopefully they root well and we have success with that. But on top of the two pups, I also have three leaf cuttings. Um, so hopefully we can get something out of this plant. And I did have a hard time with the aloe vera that I have now. Um, if you've been following like my plant story, you'll know that I rotted my aloe vera twice which is just horrible, but I think I got it down now. So hopefully these pups don't have to go through that kind of hardship. Um, I think I got it down with the aloe vera. Okay, next I'll talk about what's in this like takeout container. I did open it last night 
just to make sure that these cuttings will be okay overnight. In this takeout container is two cuttings of satin pothos. Also in this basket, I grabbed a handful of, I think he said that they were called bear paw vines. I had never seen these before and I was like, they're, they're cool and fuzzy. They have a lots of texture to them and a very vibrant purple color. They had so many cuttings of these that the people who um, were running the plant swap, they were just giving them away to people. So I was just instructed to lie the cuttings down onto soil and let them find their way, let the roots find their way into the soil um, because that's how the people, the person was propagating it. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'll just find a pot, put lots of soil there, lay the cuttings down and then like keep it in the humid area and see what happens. They look like they root up pretty quickly. So, oh my gosh, you guys. I went to a super good plant swap, right? So far, if I would have just left with everything that I've already showed, it would have been amazing. But it, it gets better. It just keeps getting better. So someone had a Hartley philodendron that has been taking over their home, apparently. So she cut this super long. Let's see if I can. Okay, so I just tested it. This is as long as my body. So I have a five foot four long vine of Hartley philodendron. The leaves are absolutely beautiful. Um, I am going to be making this a full plant. I'm so excited. I was going to buy a Hartley philodendron I saw in Lowe's the other day. But something told me just like, just don't buy, just don't buy it. Just, you know, just calm down, chill out. You already have a Brazil, you know, you don't need it. But I mean, when it's free and it's a vine as long as my body, yeah, I need it. <laughs> I, I absolutely need it. I got a plant. <laughs> I saw this um, strawberry begonia. They have it labeled here. I think I see why they call it a strawberry begonia. The back of the leaves look like they're kind of dotted like a strawberry. So I was looking at pictures of this um, strawberry begonia online and it reminded me of a spider plant and that it grows these tendrils kind of like what's happening here. It grows these tendrils and then more of these leaves grow off of the tendrils and then they just kind of trail down. And I don't like spider plants. I don't, I will never get a spider plant because I just don't, I don't like them. I don't like how they look. But this, these leaves in the same pattern of a, spi of a spider plant, that's really cool. So I'm happy to have this begonia. Okay, this is what I got next. So we're three away from the end, you guys. They're almost there. So this is the third to last. This is a rooted arrowhead plant, also known as a Syngonium podophyllum. I got my first Syngonium in my last plant swap. It's this cute little pink Syngonium here. Um, so yeah, here's my second one, much bigger. Um, and, you know, I'm not seasoned yet because I just got that one like a few weeks ago. So any Syngonium tips, let me know. I think they like humidity. Am I making that up? Um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But I think they like humidity and that's kind of all that I know about them so far. So let's move on. This is a Burl Marks, I believe. Philodendron Burl Marks. I traded this for a Peperomia Frost Cuttings. Um, super velvety leaf, nice roots, a new growth point coming in somewhere here, might be able to see. Um, this is one that has been on my wish list, so that's always a plus. Guys, we finally made it for the big reveal. So I paid $15 for the Albo ticket, that's just how much they were. I bought one ticket and um, I won. I, it was unbelievable. So let's show you this beauty now. Oh my gosh. I woke up this morning and I was like, wait, I have to make sure that this really happened because I, d I just can't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. Now I know that she looks a little, <laughs> I know she looks a little sad now, but when you see the roots, you'll see that she's very much alive. She's alive and kicking. The people who were hosting the swap said that she only looks like this because she just got she just got shipped here. So albos, you're not gonna find an albo in store. You probably have to buy it from someone online. So yeah, they shipped it here specifically for the swap. 
So, you know, it, it's just acclimating. It's been in a box for how, how or, however many days. So I'm just um, letting the leaf, you know, acclimate to my home. When you look at the roots here though, you'll see this is an aerial root here. And let's see if I can get closer. There's lots of little roots coming off of this aerial root. So we have one, two, three. So one, two, three. And then there's a fourth one down here, four. So four growth points. And I think that this might be a fifth one. If you like look really closely there, I think a root is gonna come from there as well. It does have this black like, kind of like a slime it looks like. Um, I'm kind of scared to disturb it because the roots are growing out from it fine. Let's sit while I talk about the rest of it. So um, I'm kind of scared to disturb it because the, the you know, slime here because the roots are growing out from it fine. And it happens to cuttings that I have, you know, it just, it's a lot going on in that water and when you're rooting up a cutting. So I'm not worried about it because the roots are coming out beautifully. They're clean, they're white, and yeah, they look really nice. The node, which I know is really important. I don't have an uh, elbow, but I look at YouTube a lot. So I know that the node is really important. You wanna make sure that your, if you're buying a cutting from someone, you want to make sure that the node has variegation because if it does not, then the leaf won't have variegation. So as you can see, there's beautiful variegation here, beautiful. And there's also a growth point coming, oh my gosh. I showed you all that to show that though this leaf looks like it's been through something, it has, it's been through shipping. Um, but you can see that it's healthy, it's alive, it's growing, it's fine. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is put it in water to give it like a boost instead of having it drink water from sphagnum moss. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Um, so we'll see. I will absolutely be keeping you guys updated on this. This is my first really uncommon plant and I just cannot believe that I got it in a raffle. Before we close out this video, I just wanted to show the non-planty items that I got from the swap. The first one is this super cute metal basket. I then got these two pots in a raffle. So here's the, those aloe that we got. Here's the Diefenbachia. I drilled a drainage hole in this one but it was really difficult to do. I did not have it in me to do this one as well. So no drainage hole in this one. I just stuck the aloes in here. And then I got this terracotta-like pot. It is gray and this is where my elbow ended up. So I just wanted to make sure that I highlighted the non-planty items. I got all of these through the raffle, including obviously the elbow. All of these were raffle items. I was just really lucky. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, if you have like a favorite plant that I picked up from the swap, please let me know. If you know any of the names, if you have any tips for the plants that I got, please let me know. And um, if you liked the video, then give it a thumbs up. That's it, you guys. So I'll see you in the next one. And thank you so much for watching.